join us at PrisonPlanet.tv. This is Alex Jones for InfoWarsLife.com. The latest in preparedness is now here. An electrically stabilized colloidal silver solution that can be added to both your home cabinet and preparedness pack alike. Concentrated to 30 parts per million in what has been dubbed the Survival Silver Solution. The new InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver is the answer for you and your family. And it's entirely free of toxic artificial additives that are loaded into many products. The InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Silver is so powerful that it is concentrated into a two ounce bottle and is not recommended for extended continual use. This is not a low grade formula. We are working with one of the top laboratory manufacturers in the United States to bring you the best form of colloidal silver using electrical processes within a base of deionized water for your preparedness storage or your home kitchen. Purchase your bottle of InfoWarsLife.com Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver today and find other amazing supplements at InfoWarsLife.com. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Now, George Galloway, I've been ranting here. I want to give you the floor. Tell us about the film. You're a serious guy. Basically, everything you said about Iraq came true, more than anybody, even more than Ron Paul or myself. What you said came true, like it was you know prophetic so you're a serious guy if you think ken lay is really still alive we're investigating it i think he is the evidence is there tell us about your film your crowdsourcing and then uh, let's move forward to the big picture what else is happening in the world and where you see us going thank you alex um uh, the, the there's no evidence that he's dead uh and all the circumstantial evidence is that he's still alive and he cheated the American justice system uh, and allowed his family to remain in control and ownership of his millions, his estates and so on, by mysteriously dying of a heart attack in Colorado uh, just three days before being sentenced for then one of the biggest frauds in corporate history. It prefigured the crash of 2008 and indeed Kenneth Lay prefigures the kind of villains that walked across the stage uh, during the crash of 2008. Kenneth Lay was George W. Bush. He was the sponsor, primary sponsor, of uh, the political class, not just in the Republican Party, uh, but in the uh, Democratic uh, Party, too. And when Bush flew down to Florida to, uh, to fight the recount, uh, which made him president in the first place, uh, he flew down in an Enron jet covered in Enron insignia. And then quickly, Enron collapsed. Uh, uh, billions of dollars were lost. He was convicted of a massive fraud three days before sentencing and thus able to, his family able to retain his millions. He went, he was given permission to go to Colorado where he died in the night of a heart attack and then was promptly cremated. And nobody from the federal government, nobody from the FBI, nobody from the Justice Department actually saw his dead body before it was supposedly burned. And at his funeral, the entire American political class turned out to pay their respects to a man who had just been convicted of a gigantic super fraud of billions of dollars. 
Uh, both the Bushes were there, uh, but President Clinton was also there. Uh, President Carter was also there. What were they even doing at the funeral of a convicted criminal uh, in this way? And of course, he went up in smoke. Or did he? Because conveniently at the same time, a 100,000 acre ranch. Now, I know you're in Texas and everything's bigger in Texas. But for me, the idea that Bush owns a 100,000 acre ranch, that he bought it right next door to the American military base, and that you risk being shot for looking over the fence to see if you can spot Kenneth Lee is all deeply suspicious. So I'm going to go to Paraguay. Uh, let's shift gears uh, over into if you're going to steal a million, why not steal a trillion? If you're going to lie a little and launch a whole war that kills a million people, according to Lancet, why not stage the death of one guy? Of course they did. The evidence is overwhelming. Uh, but but let's get back into the other film you guys are crowdsourcing. And Kaiser better make these because I know he's got the money to make them anyways. The point is people should support it because I want to see these films, especially with you in them. Uh, what about um, uh, Tony Blair? I mean, he clearly, with the Downing Street memo, the White House memo, well, you're the expert on it. I mean, we've got the evidence he's a war criminal. And if we can punish one of these criminals, even in the court of public opinion, it will, it will, it will stop them doing it next time. Well, uh, Alex, in the court of public opinion, Tony Blair is already tried and convicted. He's like uh, that character in the movie Ghostwriter. He spends most of his time out of Britain because he can't walk down any street in Britain. Every time he sits down in a restaurant, somebody tries to perform a citizen's arrest upon him. And his gauleiters and his lieutenants uh, who suffer similar fates. And so in public opinion, uh, this man is destroyed in Britain because it's seen that he lied us into a war in which a million people perished and which cascaded this extremism around the world that we've been talking about. But companies keep hiring him banks in particular, but oil companies and other corporate interests to a fantastic tune. It's never been known in British politics before for a former prime minister to do other than retire to a country estate, sedately uh, advise us from time to time on international it's or a delayed, domestic matters. It's a delayed load. payoff. Yeah, but now we've got a situation where the new class of politicians are being told, if you play ball with the right interests, they'll look after you after your term of office is over. And that is just fatal for the political system. I agree. Because uh, if you're legislating for banks and the military industrial complex and other commercial interests, in their interests with a view to them hiring you when you're finished, how can the public expect good governance as a result? Sure, so how does it all end? How does it all end? Because it's clearly, the fruit is rotting now. They're getting away with everything. And historically, that causes megalomania. How does it end? I mean, you predicted how all the other stuff would go the last decade. Well, What's going to happen now? I think it'll end okay, Alex. And that's where maybe you and I would part company at this point in this sense. Because I believe that the fruit is rotting. It's falling off the trees in the sense that People have absolutely no faith in the political class which governs them, and they're right not to do so. Oh, no, I agree uh, with you. But, I agree uh, with you. That does not yet have a form, a physical form of an alternative power, at least not in your country or mine. In many other parts of Europe, for example, an anti-political class is uh, beginning to germinate, to continue your uh, your uh, metaphor, uh, and is uh, bearing new fruit. Some of it I like, some of it I don't like, but it's all uh, new power coming through because people have entirely lost faith in the old ways. And uh, the old ways are no longer able to govern as they were. Otherwise, we'd now be at war with Syria and Iran and with Russia and China on the other side of that war. In the British Parliament, we stopped dead the juggernaut of war, which was about to take off and begin bombing Syria. Because we did so, President Obama was not able to take off and do the heavy lifting, the majority of the bombing. We stopped the war on Syria. No, George, Otherwise, I agree with you. In it.
and Iran would be a belligerent, and goodness knows where that would have all ended up. We stopped that because the political class is now terrified of the public. In Britain, uh, the politicians know that the public hate them, regard them as thieves who fill their own pockets with the public's money sure. and legislate for corporate interests, for vested interests, rather than in the interests of the people. And sooner or later, that will find its expression in new political parties, new political personalities, or radical changes in oh, the I leadership agree. and direction of the parties. Well, let me we add have. this. Let me add this, George. When I was in the UK last year to cover and protest Bilderberg, the, almost all the police, you name it, were telling us, hey, we're on your side. We hate the people in there. We know this is going on. We know there's a shadow government. And, and, I, and it was across the political spectrum. People were really angry in England. Uh, you know, they're north of uh, London and Wadford. They're in the UK. So, no, we don't disagree. There's a huge awakening. But the political class is militarizing and racing to authoritarianism and having the NSA and, uh, you know, your NSA spy on Parliament, spy on the Senate to the point of, I mean, the battle's being joined is what I'm saying. No, I, well, I agree with that. I, I, I'm just, I think, a little more confident uh, than you. Perhaps I'm not, uh, forgive me if I'm wrong, that we will prevail. Uh, I don't believe we will go to authoritarianism. Fascism is not possible in the United States or the United Kingdom. I don't think the people would tolerate it. But that's not a fruit that falls off the tree. You have to shake the tree to make sure the people uh, avoid that uh, perilous uh, fate. Uh, on that, definitely, we would agree. Uh, it, all that's required for the triumph of evil is that good men and women do nothing. That's right. And we've got to make sure, and uh, you're busy on that, so am I. We've got to make sure that the people do what's necessary sure. to do to stop that fate. Well, I want to get you back as soon as you go down there to try to cover his ranch and give us coverage. And georgegalloway.com, uh, respectparty.org. I really appreciate you spending time with us. And uh, you've really went up against a lot. You know, they tried to destroy you when you exposed the Iraq war. And we, we all admire courage. So thank you so much for your time, George Galloway. Thank you, Alex. It's been a pleasure. Thank you, sir. Wow, that was a powerful interview. And that guy's got a lot of courage, folks. I mean... I mean, let me tell you, they were killing people over in the UK opposing the war. And he was getting threatened. They were trying to put him in jail and stuff. And so you can see what you want about George Galloway. He has got a lot of courage. And we appreciate him coming on the show. And I hope those movies get made. All right, I'm going to come back, take phone calls in the next segment, the one after that. I'm going to talk to Scott and uh, Rod and Ed and Patrick and JD and others. Get ready with your comments straight ahead. I'm Alex Jones with InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. And you can follow me on Twitter at Real Alex Jones. But everything Galloway said, you can prove. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. From the water table, to our soils, to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans 
Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-313. Coast to Coast, direct from Austin, you're listening to the Alex